As I reported, these are the two out of 12 silver arowana that we lost, which I thought was due to perhaps Dorado aggression, but it wasn't Dorado. This was arowana and arowana. Both of them got attacked right here in the rear third or so, I would say. And uh, by the time I took him out and separated them, it was too late. They were way too stressed already. The stress, so much stress they couldn't take, so they they shortly perished. So the small, small one is about, was about probably five inches. The bigger one is about seven and a half inches. From the starting about four and a half, five inches, I think. A month ago. It's a third arowana that's causing concern. I don't see too much damage on it. Nothing obvious anyway. They all have a few nicks here and there. But this one is a lot darker and a lot more lethargic. It doesn't swim as much and, and it hasn't fed this morning. So I'm not sure why, but my best guess is that it's being bullied by others. So I'm going to take it out and uh, place it in, in a tank where there is nobody and hope for the best because the prior two perished. But they were probably slightly in a worse, worse shape than this one. This guy is. But again, I don't know. We only have nine arowana left, including this one. We sold one and lost two out of twelve to arowana on arowana violence. So I'm going to try and save this this little guy. You see how lethargic it is, it's not struggling, it's not trying to get out, it's not trying to evade the net. Which is a bad, bad sign that it's very stressed. It doesn't seem thin, it doesn't look... Th its tummy is still... has some food in it. So we're going to put it in this 300 gallon for now. Okay, so would you please recover? See, it's just floating. That's exactly what happened to the other two. They were still swimming in the original tank, but as soon as I take them out, they're... It's as if they're lost. Last breath, there's a lost strength is taken out of them. I don't think it's gonna recover, unfortunately. And I think a lens is popped on its left eye. It doesn't have a lens. Only the right eye has a lens. I was wondering why her eye looks a little dark. It has no lens.
I keep hoping for the best. It's still moving. A little bit. Slowly. No, there is still a lens on the left eye. It's just on the right eye, the lens is much bigger. Like several times bigger. I don't know why. Never noticed that before. It's clear. The eye is clear and the lens is clear. But it's much bigger. Maybe it's genetics. This farm bread farm bred arowana don't enjoy very good genetics compared to their wild kin that are subject to survival of the fittest these are not <coughs> unfortunately this is often survival of everybody so that they can be sold Yeah, you saw how it's passed out from the stress just of simple quick rehoming. I hope she'll recover. I think it died yesterday. Game over. I just haven't had a chance to take it out. So I just started rotting, so. So far, out of 12 arowana. Three of them got killed by their own kind, and one of them was sold, so we're down to eight arowana right now. It looks like everybody's doing okay. I mean, I, I try my best to keep track of them. I look at them 20 times a day, trying to catch in time which is going to be the next target. And I keep missing it every time I rehome them, rehome the ones that were attacked, that had been attacked. It's too late. The first one lived the longest for about a couple of days after I, f I caught it. The second one pretty much died within hours and so has the third one. So out of the eight remaining there is some damage, some scales missing here and there. That's the smallest one in the back, you can see. But it's pretty lively. All of them have good appetite. I also wonder why some of them have a lot of black on their pelvic fins. And others don't. I want to say, I almost want to say that the ones that uh, were attacked, or had been attacked, they also had black in their fins. I wonder if it's the sign of stress or bites on the fin. Most of them have nice white pelvic fins, but like this bigger one has clearly has some black in it. It's probably yeah, it's the only one I'd say that has some black. Yep, everybody else's fins are well, that other one has a little bit of dark. Just a touch. But that's the only one that has a lot of black in the pelvic fins. I'm sorry, in, in the pectoral fins. I meant pectoral.